So you're probably wondering a few things right now. Like, what is this gigantic, multicolored structure right behind me? And also, why? Dear Lord, why are there so many cacti floating in space? There are dozens upon dozens of cacti. Well, you're in luck, because all of those questions will be answered in today's episode of Sky Black Billionaire, the show where we are trying to accumulate 1 billion Sky Black coins and XP. But in order to answer those questions, we are going to have to go back a long, long time ago. Two weeks earlier. So, I did some mining off screen. So many diamonds. But in all seriousness, this is the setup that I got going here that allowed me to mine so many diamonds. So, I got a fortune three pickaxe here and i just sit at the bottom and point this up at the sky or at the bedrock behind it and i just set my auto clicker going and every time the diamond block pops up boom broken super super fast super efficient i mean it doesn't get better than this guys because now you're gonna ask yourself probably what am i gonna do with all these diamonds i mean this is a lot of diamonds what do i need them for you can clearly tell that i'm not using the diamonds for my outfit here as a matter of fact someone in the comments said that the biggest question they had was why do I have a diamond throne and I'm wearing iron armor well here's the thing okay I can do whatever I want if we take a peek at our board we built a mega sugarcane farm although it's definitely not mega enough we may have to go even mega 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 er I guess um, but today, we're not going to worry about that. This week, we are going to be doing step two, which is we're going to build a base because, um, yeah, this is bad, guys. This is this is not a good state to be in. But yeah, so we're going to actually build this up into a base. Uh, I think it'll be pretty cool. And then we're going to build a mega mushroom farm. So if mushrooms still sell for as much as they do, and let me... Okay, good. The mushrooms the mushrooms still sell for 20. So the mushrooms sell for as much as a diamond. This is exactly what I wanted. So basically, we're going to build a mega mushroom farm. Uh, I actually had this on my channel. There's a tutorial. I have a really, really old video. This is a super good way to make a lot of coins quickly, but it is manual labor. Um, so we're going to like make a giant mushroom farm. We'll plant mushrooms. They'll grow into giant ones, and then we'll chop them down. Alright, so I think I've come up with a decent plan for the design of my main base. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put black concrete up the corners of the base from the bottom all the way to the top. And then I'll kind of do an outline in quartz blocks. I was thinking about white concrete, but I decided I like the texture better of just the pure quartz block. So basically what will happen, we'll have these corners coming all the way up and... I'm gonna center everything off of the initial bedrock block here, which marks the middle of the island. All right, so I think I'm gonna to get to building some of the layers of this base. As you can see, I've already kind of got the floor plan down for how big it's going to be. And I also made a little diagonal to try and figure out where the center block was. And it turns out that the center block is actually this one. It is not the bedrock one, which surprised me. So hopefully I didn't get the calculation wrong or everything is going to be slightly off center. But yeah, from what I saw, this is actually the center of this entire area. So with that being said, I think what I'll do is I'll turn the Minecraft music off. I'll throw on my own Epic Jams music. I probably pulled off of some no copyright thing. And then I'll make a little building montage, which starts now.
now it's two layers. I decided to actually raise them up so it wasn't just one big clump and there's kind of some gray connector beams in the middle. So now with two modules done and with a connecting water stream that will carry us up and down, I'll kind of show you around a little bit. So we have the furnace system that stayed in the same spot. Um, as usual, put the items in at the top, put the fuel in the back, that gets running. Then obviously my random bunches of chests. I haven't quite finished this main area. So this is actually, uh, this is called the main sector. What that means is basically I have the smelter here just because I use the smelter a lot and as well I'll probably keep stuff like crafting tables and some chests here filled with all the important items that I use most often. We also have this little spot here which is taking input down from our top area which is the mining area and dropping it down here so we can like put iron in or gold in there, drop it down to this chest and then place it in the furnace system. So now we'll actually go up, so right above this is the mining section. I have not built the chest section yet. Um, there's definitely going to be more areas. I'll probably do an enchanting one or something like that, but for now, mining and chests are the most important. So let's go up and take a peek at the mining section. So once we're at the top of the mining section, we have two little mining areas here. We have the specialty ore mining section. This is a little bit of a revamped design, basically. You can either do two things, you can mine all three at the same time, this will just go infinitely. And then our items will get collected by the hoppers and drop into this chest. And I'll put some tools in there such as my fortune 3 pickaxes and unbreaking pickaxes and stuff like that so I always have a set of mining tools. And then here is the chest where you can actually send stuff down to the furnace area so for example let's just go ahead and take that iron and gold toss it into this chest and that'll head on straight down to the level below us and then finally we have the all ore generator up here so this one's the same as what I built before just aim in the middle and my way so this pickaxe does not have you need at least efficiency one or two I believe in order to get through both of these consistently so but yeah so that's pretty much a tour of what I have done so far I just need to add in the chest area and then I will be back. All right guys, so for now, the base is actually done, or at least in a decent enough spot now that we can begin work on the mushroom farm. Added on this bottom area of chests, and I also made the walls mostly glass, so you can, and it looks pretty cool. The whole thing looks, I mean, it, it looks a little weird, not gonna lie, but I don't hate it. Surprisingly, I don't hate it. Alright, so now that the house is done though, I'm going to actually start building the mushroom farm and I think I'm going to do it along this whole wall here. So we'll see how many mushrooms we can actually cram into this thing. I'm hoping it'll produce a lot of coins or at least a lot more coins than the sugarcane farm has. Alright, so I have the platform built now and I'll show you what its purpose is. Basically, what I'm going to test out right now, but basically what happens is we plant a mushroom on this mycelium block and then we bone meal it and it grows into a giant mushroom and then we chop all the mushroom blocks down, the small mushrooms items fall here, which there will be a water stream that comes across here. I just destroyed all my torches, but as you can see the water stream's max reach is this eight blocks away from where its source block is, which is perfect because that means the water will carry our items down a level and then there'll actually be another water stream that carries all of our items down to eventually reach a hopper. I might even link this up with the storage area over there. If I'm feeling really, really crazy, okay? And now the mushroom farm is finally completed. Yeah, I know it looks a little bit bigger than where we were at last time. I put quite a bit of time and effort into finalizing and perfecting this thing, and it should be all ready to go. So just to show you real quickly some of the cool features we got here, basically all the mushrooms will funnel down into this chest. I can add extra chests below it or even next to it by adding in more hoppers, but that is our collection system there. And then the, this actual thing is pretty huge and also pretty cool so i stuck with the red and the white color scheme i thought that was a pretty cool touch we've got blocks floating up above the mushrooms because the mushrooms actually cannot be directly under the sun or you can't plant them so by placing a block above this is actually directly above where the mushroom grows we are able 
to plant mushrooms during the day. Even with all this light around, we'll still be able to plant them. I also put up this little glass pane walkway so it keeps me from falling off, but I can still mine every single mushroom block and plant them easily as well. So yeah, I also put up obviously some pretty big walls here and lit the top with torches. Hopefully mobs don't really spawn in here. Um, I know mobs aren't supposed to spawn on glass panes and mycelium and stuff like that, but honestly with this sky block anything is possible. The mobs were spawning on glass earlier and attacking me while I was building this thing, so who who really knows? But basically what we're gonna do now is let's let's do it. Let's do a full run. I have 18 bone meal. So that should be enough to do every single one of these mushrooms. We'll go through it the whole time, see how long it takes, and see how much money we make out of one full farming session from this epic mushroom farm. Alright, so obviously first steps here is just run around and plant all the mushrooms. Nice easy to do, just walk on railing, plant them all one by one. Alright, that should be 16 mushrooms. Six mushrooms so now what we need to do is go one by one and bone meal them all I'll just gonna bone meal all of them at the same oh okay I have to not stand so close to the glass pane or I'm gonna get hit all right perfect there we go so I guess I can I gotta try and not stand as close but also I guess I would angle like that that would be better there we go kind of an angle like that there we go all right looking good okay so now let's Chop them all down. This is the important part. So, all right, and there's one side down. So, we are losing a few mushrooms on the blocks, but considering it drops around 50 to 60 mushrooms, I'm not too concerned about that. We also have picked up quite a few mushrooms in our inventory. That's over a full stack. So we'll just keep chopping them down. More mushrooms to go. All right, so there we have it. We have broken every single giant mushroom. And I'm gonna be honest, my ax is looking pretty dull here. This thing is almost used completely up of durability. I wonder if an iron ax will mine them just as fast because I might have to switch to iron tools. That was a lot of mining, a lot of block breaking. But let's see if it paid off. So let's go ahead and check our rewards chest down here where all of our beautiful mushrooms should have gone into. And we still have quite a few funneling in. Let's check, it. let's take a look at the hopper and see how many are in there. Oh yeah, we definitely have quite a few. So, and there we have it. This is pretty much the complete results from one full session of our farming. We have, that is 9, 10, 11 stacks of mushrooms. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to sell them all. Let's see how much money we can make from these mushrooms. Head on into the shop, go to farm. Go to mushrooms and 14,000 coins. 14,000 coins just from that tiny session of mushroom farming. That's absolutely insane. So the only downside with this, however, is that we need we need bone meal. So as you guys can can see, uh Bone meal, is, bone meal is actually kind of expensive. If we go take a look in the store and try and buy just a bone. Yeah, bones are 500 coins. So one bone makes three bone meal. In order to run our farm, which is 16, we would need, just doing quick maths in my head here, we would need six bones. So that's 3,000. So if we took all the money that we made from mushrooms, which is approximately 14.5 thousand coins, and we spend 3,000 on getting more bone meal for the next time, then our profit's actually only gonna be around 11,000 coins, which isn't bad, and you can definitely go through a lot of these in one hour. So that didn't take me very long to do it all. Uh, let me do some more quick maths here. 
calculating this inside of my calculator, even though I could probably be doing this in my head. Okay, so in theory, if it took us a full five minutes to do that farm, which in my opinion, I don't think it really does, but let's just say we're slow and it takes us five minutes, then it would probably take us uh, around less than an hour to get 100,000 coins, which isn't, which isn't bad, isn't bad. So you know what? I'm going to actually test it. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend the next 20 minutes farming mushrooms. I'm going to take what I've earned from farming the mushrooms. I'm going to buy more bones, turn it to bone meal, and continue doing this over and over and over again. And we're going to see truly after 20 minutes how much money we make. I can do all the speculation I want, but let's see how it actually shapes up in terms of real gameplay. All right, here we go. Our very first full mushroom inventory sale. Let's go to the shop. And this is really zoomed in. <laughs> you probably don't want that. Go to farm. To mushroom. And oh my goodness. 44,000 coins. Okay. All right, guys. That wasn't even all of them. And a 33,000 coins of so 44 plus 33, that is 77,000 coins. That's insane. That's insane. 77,000 coins in 20 minutes. Honestly, I could probably get that number with, if I did another full cycle or two, I bet I could get that number close to 100,000 in 20 minutes. I bet if I was going as fast as I possibly could, go 100,000. So that's that's 300,000 coins per hour. Now that is starting to look good. So anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up the video today. We made a giant mega mushroom farm. It generates a lot of money, and that is going to be it. Bye. But Psycho... What about the cactuses? You said you would tell us about the cactuses and you didn't say anything about the cactuses the rest of the video! Well... I didn't say anything about the carrots either! That's right, if you want to know more about the cactuses, if you want to know more about the carrots, if you want to know more about the cash, then you're gonna have to stay tuned for episode 3, releasing every Monday, or at least some sort of Minecraft video releases every Monday. Stay tuned for the next Skyblock Billionaire episode. See you next time. Game on, gamers.